This potato harvester's manufacturer warned, before doing maintenance, switch the engine off and remove the ignition key. Two workers would find out why the hard way. The harvester is pulled behind a tractor, powered by the power takeoff, and is designed to function without workers. It has large rollers that separate rocks, soil, and potato stems, debris also known as hom, from the potatoes. Before working on this farm, the two workers, worker one and worker two, had never seen a potato harvester. They were assigned to grease components and change worn bearings of the hom rollers. Although they had little training, they began the work. When they finished, their supervisor started up the tractor and harvester. Two of the back rollers were not turning. The supervisor directed worker two to grease the bearings and replace any malfunctioning parts. The supervisor turned off the tractor and left the key in the ignition. He directed the workers to complete the tasks and then left the area. The workers changed parts on one side of the harvester. Worker two got into the tractor's cab and turned the key to start the tractor. He also activated the hydraulics powering the hom rollers. With the machine running, worker two exited the cab and went underneath the web conveyor to see if the rollers were turning. Worker one climbed on top of the machine to visually check the rollers. He slipped. The unguarded rollers quickly pulled in his leg, crushing it. He called for help. Worker two ran and turned off the tractor, stopping the rollers. The supervisor and worker two tried to free worker one. 911 was called. Rescue workers, unable to cut through the hardened steel components of the harvester, instead had to partially disassemble the machine. More than an hour later, the worker was freed. This accident could have been prevented. The employer should have had and implemented, one, a health and safety program to identify and address hazards. Two, safeguards. The farm owner had the guards for covering the home rollers, but never installed them. Three, de-energization and lockout procedures. Removing the key or disconnecting the power takeoff would have prevented the harvester from powering up. Four, effective supervision, which would have included checking that the workers were doing their jobs safely. And five, training for the workers so that they could understand the tasks and the hazards. The two workers were from Mexico and spoke Spanish. Only worker two knew a little English. Even if a language barrier exists, employers are responsible for providing training in a language or manner that workers understand. With such limited training and experience, the workers never should have been assigned to work on a machine that could be so dangerous. As an employer, know the hazards and protect your workers from them. <laughs>